to their seats watching this one. Phil Fagan supremely fit. I tell you what, he's going to give Oz Khan a run for his money, but be wary of Oz Khan's hands because uh, he is the big bomber, of course, and Fagan's going to have to keep his hands and his guard up nice and high. Listen to that ovation. It can only mean one thing. The return to the ring of the Supreme Fighting Machine. Making his heavyweight debut successfully here in the quarterfinals when he knocked out Trail Dowie. Now stepping up to the semi-final against Phil Fagan, it's Gurkhan Oskhan. Mark the hammer, Gurkhan Oskhan is pumped, he is primed, he is so psyched, he makes coffee nervous. Well, there's one thing with uh, Oskhan, Michael, which is the big question mark. Is he going to be fit enough? And I tell you what, Phil Fagan, personal trainer extraordinaire, he is fit and he is ready. Oskhan bulking up so quickly in such a little amount of time, that's going to be the question mark. Take it past one and a half, two rounds. Is Oskan going to have enough breath in those lungs to keep his hands up and keep going? Semi-final number one of the King of Kings in the squared circle at present. Once again, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first from the blue corner out of the Kelly Seif stables. As I said earlier, a record of 11 fights, 10 wins, only the one blemish at 101.5 kilos, the Destroyer. Phil Fagan! It's time to lift the roof off the casino, as in the red corner from the Tarek Solhan Braveheart Academy, a two-time world super middleweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Fighting Machine. He is Your referee for this contest, Mr. Malcolm Bulma, it's time to go. Welcome to the ring. You know the rules. Let's have a good clean fight. Obey my instructions at all times. Good luck to both the fighters. Shake hands now. Come on, fighting at the bell. Good luck. Well, this big crowd has come alive here at the Crown Casino for what promises to be a corker of a fight. What a dream matchup for a semi final. The Supreme Fighting Machine, Gurkhan Oskhan, against the destroyer Phil Fagan, third man centering Malcolm Bulma. Well, the boys, JD and Mario Floridis from Body World and Balaclava, they uh, got Gurkhan up the weight. That's for sure. They've done a fine job with him. But uh, the fitness is going to be the question mark, and that's something you can't do a lot about in a short period of time when you're bulking up so much. Fagan, he's going to want to just want to settle in the first round and then take it on home strongly. And a big hello to all our Fox Sports fans right around the country. Richard Stubbs and Rick McKenna, a hello to you, as Gurkhan Oskhan just slaps the taste out of Phil Fagan's mouth with a nice left hook. Well, Richard, I know you're sitting at home enjoying this action, as he's a great supporter of the martial arts and kickboxing, Richard Stubbs on Double CFM down here in Melbourne and Rick McKenna up there in Sydney doing a fine job. Fagan just working that long rear leg leg kick. There it is again. Ozcan just a little bit of fancy footwork to evade the kick. Evade the high left round kick. Ozcan certainly hasn't come out all guns blazing in this first round. He knows that, Oz, uh, that Phil Fagan is the most technically gifted fighter in this lineup tonight. Well, Fagan, as I said, he's good at picking his shots. He just wants to settle a little. He seems a little bit uh, overzealous to get the points on Oskhan early. He should settle and uh, just take it uh, take it home. Gurkhan, Oskhan, such a dangerous fighter. You can see that wild left hook just launching out there from the uh, the shoulder of Oskhan. That's what uh, Fagan's going to have to watch out for. He's got to keep his hands up higher, Fagan. He's carrying them far too low. He's got to be looking through those gloves. There's the big overhand right, the big bertha punch from Gurkhan, Oskhan. Step up right hand, just inches short of Phil Fagan's nose. Fagan collects him with the nice inside leg. Fagan prepared to treat by Kelly Seif. 
from the Kalisic stables in Mulgrave. There's the overhand right again from Oscan. He hasn't faced Fagan so far. You can still see Fagan focused. But Oscan, nice step up jab there. Tried for the knee. Fagan doesn't want to get into those punching duels with Oscan. He should be using his legs a lot more, Phil Fagan. Gerdekar and Oscan looking to make history. He's already made history tonight, but if he can make it to the final, I'll tell you what, that will be a momentous event. Phil Fagan looking cool, calm and collected as ever. The Destroyer, originally from the UK, now based in Melbourne. Oscan, that big overhand right. Sticks out a couple of jabs, Oscan. The winner of this, of course, through to the final. The winner of this will meet the winner of Ron Sifo and Mark Hunt. Two minutes 40 down in the first round of action. A big hello over in Western Australia, all our fans over there. Damien Meyer, one of the legends of Australian Muay Thai. Big hello to you, Damien. And of course, Gary and Max up on the Gold Coast, Hammer. On the Gold Coast, and that of course is the homeland of Scott Bannon and all the boys at the Bannon's uh, kickboxing gym up there. All good supporters of Fox Sports. There's the end of the first round of action as we go to the towels. Mark the Hammer Castanini, how do you see that one? Well, pretty much a, an even first round. I'd say Fagan, uh, nice, some nice step-up work, some good step-up jabs. Neither fighter really using their legs enough. It's pretty much resorting into a, uh, into a bit of a boxing match, although Fagan is really starting to chop up the inside. The in There's uh, one of the, dig the dignitaries ringside, Mr. Andrew Peacock, of course. The uh, U.S. Ambassador, I believe. Correct, former Liberal enjoying, Party leader. Enjoying the other side down here, <laughs> watching the fights. <laughs> but uh, you see uh, the boys from C Martial Arts going to work on Phil Fagan. That's a mean-looking corner indeed, in the corner of Phil Fagan. Kelly Seif there leaning through the ropes and just hopping through the ropes. The man they call the house, Rocky Seif. A heavyweight kickboxer in his own right. We're underway in the second round of action, our semi-final between the Supreme Fighting Machine, Gurkhan Oskhan, and formerly from the UK, the destroyer, Phil Fagan. Fagan with a step-up jab. Oskhan wasted trail Dowie in their quarter-final. Phil Fagan made short work of Harry Munt. Fagan not using his lead leg enough. Here comes Oskhan! The ticking time bomb has exploded once again! And the crowd erupts! It's a chance for Gurkhan Oskhan! Well, Gurkhan's unleashing in the second round Fagan not looking too phased at this point he's got to use that front leg off the front leg more Fagan to keep Oscan away to keep you out of harm's way with those very dangerous hands that Oscan has and it, loaded and ready Hammer the big concern was would Oscan have the energy to go all the way of course stacking on 16 kilos in 10 weeks he's added a lot of weight to his frame well he certainly has and uh, as you said to you in one of your interviews, Michael, uh, part of the problem with him was the jogging. He couldn't do his sprints and the running as easily as he was when he was lighter. Now that he's carrying the extra kilos. Nice lead leg round kick to the head there from Phil Fagan. The destroyer just dancing around the ring. Oscan sizing him up. Nice, nice jab there, Fagan using his reach well. But Oscan whipping in that left round punch catching Phil. Phil's got to keep that uh, right hand up on the jaw more. It's just down too low and too wide. And that's the danger land as Oscan whips it in once again. A pressure cooker of a fight so far. One and a half minutes down in the second round of action. A super fight indeed, this semi-final. One of these men will go on to the final. Oscan just waiting with the right hand. Walks into a knee! Walks into a knee! You can see the saliva fly out of the mouth of Gurkhan Oscan! Okay, Walks into another one! Those step-up knees up the lead leg from Phil Fagan. Gurkhan Oskar, a bit of a mouse underneath the right eye. Well, the only thing that gave Gurkhan Oskar any trouble in that first fight was the knees of uh, Trail Dowie. And that's something that uh, maybe Fagan should take note of. The ringside, how many dignitaries looking on? Also hello to Lee Simon, the master of Melbourne Radio. Triple M DJ Lee Simon. Longest serving DJ in the country, Hammer. And an avid martial arts supporter he is too. That's why I listen to him. <laughs> he likes the martial arts, I like him. A couple of jabs there, just missing the target from Oz County. Walks into a left hand of Fagan's. Fagan almost got collected by Big Bertha. Goes downstairs now, the destroyer. Look at the look of intensity on the kisser of Gurkhan Ozkan. 
Phil Fagan. No emotion on his face, just walks into a right hand. Oscar's, Oscar's going to have to be weary of those knees of Fagan. You can see Fagan almost setting, getting ready to bring in that rear right knee. But he's got to put the grapple on correctly to, to make it effective. Phil Fagan just backing Oscar against the ropes. Oscar now starting to suck in the air. Fagan Oscar has to just kick more. Up the left hand. Fagan has to work his kicks more because that's where the scoring points are going to come. Into the okay. second round of action, Hammer. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe just Fagan, but I'll tell you what, Oscar, he's doing a much better job than I thought he would, and his fitness is, in fact, holding up better than I thought it would as well. So, uh, as one of the uh, lovely uh, ring card girls from Bar 20 goes round, the corners give their advice. Fagan, is the fitness going to be enough? to take Fagan through into the third round. There's three more minutes to go. They're three-minute rounds. Fagan breathing heavy. Oscar, not so much. He's in a bit of pain there. Don't let him go. There's those looping hands. A nice knee just put Oscar on the back foot a little from Fagan. Fagan outreaching Oscar quite visibly with that nice step-up jab. This is it. The third and final round of action. Malcolm Buller gets us underway. The crowd on the edge of their seats. Both men touch gloves. Last minute instructions in the corner there for Gurkhan Oskar from Leroy McHale and Prince Amir. Fagan just sticking out that probing left hand. The big balk right hand there from Oskar. Fagan's going to have to bring it home. He's going to have to work the kicks a lot more and he's going to have to bring it home. Let's see if Fagan's got the pepper. Because I tell you what, if it comes down to a boxing match, that's danger land and that's where Oskar is certainly stronger. Nice short left kick there from Fagan. Oskar works a lead leg round kick. Nice chopping leg kick there from Fagan. That's what he needs to do more of. Take out Gurkhan's lead leg. Oskar just parrying the front kick. Trying to bridge this reach disadvantage with a long left hand is Oskar. Fagan still relatively light on his feet. Ooh, misses with the hook. That hook just whistled past the brow of Gurkhan Oskar. He fires out wildly with a swinging overhand left. Well, certainly the reach is a lot for Oskar to overcome. He's calling it. In, he's calling it a kick to the groin. Just one south of the border there for Gurkhan Oskar. Learning me. Short break. Unintentional foul. Kick to the groin. He was going for the inside thigh. Oskar. We'll have a look at it on replay here. It didn't look. No, it sort of glanced across the front, I suppose. Hard to see from that camera angle. But uh, nevertheless, Oscar and clever tactics. He'll breathe it up. He'll take the time for recovery and come back from there. Fagan uh, just uh, the, not believing that kick uh, caught to the groin. action here in the third and final round the supreme fighting machine Gurkhan Oskar the destroyer Phil Fagan well, they need to bring it home now Oskar taking a bit of a breather there from that uh, unintentional foul Oskar absolutely drenched in sweat Fagan launches the high left round kick they need to bring it home strongly Oskar there with a straight right hand sweat flying off the brow of Fagan well this is where Fagan really needs to start working his legs a lot more not just relying on punching oh the inside Oskar leg kick Oscar's claiming, Oscar's claiming he's got a bit, of a bit of a problem in the knee department. Oh, no! You see the welt on the inside thigh, and I can tell you what, I've got one the match after sparring Phil Fagan. He works that inside thigh, something, something terrible. Here we go, we're bringing it home! The ticking time bomb has exploded! Oscar trying to finish the contact! He is leaping! He is leaping! Phil Fagan knows that he's got Oscar in a lot of bother! A slip in the centre of the ring from Fagan! Stand man Longanides across the ring is leaping out of his seat. Chance are up the game for Gurkhan Oskar. He has taken more looks to the front door and he is still going, Gurkhan Oskar. Well, what Fagan wants to do is set up with the front kick off the front leg and then drill in that round, rear round kick. Finish with the hands. 
Big body shot, big body shot from Oskan. There it is, the end of the third and final round. Gurkhan Oskan limps back to his corner. It has been a war. It has been a war. The crowd are out of their seats, Hammer. Wow. We're going down to the judges again. Oskan in a bit of problem there with that uh, inside thigh kick. And even if he does advance through, even if he gets a decision, he's not going to make an impression in the final. So we're going to want to see Fagan go through to the final. Because have a look at him, he's still fit, he's still moving. And this man, the Dark Destroyer, is the, uh, the underdog somewhat, but he could take out this event if he's looking sharp. He's going to go and have a long rest now. Oskan's in a lot of trouble. He's not going to be any good if he goes on anyway. So Fagan's got to be going through here. Do we see Fagan squared up? Oskan went to check. Fagan went to throw the inside leg kick. Nothing wrong with either of those techniques. Just unfortunate for Oskan that he lifted his leg instead of taking it on the inside thigh. He probably would have been better off taking that kick and walking through it. But nevertheless, it was correct technique from both fighters. Here we see it again. So you see Oskan actually lift his lead leg, which just uh, exposed that knee and probably overextended it under the uh, pressure of that uh, whipping inside thigh kick from Fagan. But the Oskan in the world of hurt and a lot of bother. And I tell you what, even if he does progress, that's going to give him a lot of trouble into the next round. We ask both fighters to set a ring, but before the decision is announced, Crown Casino, what about it for the war that we've just witnessed? between Gurkhan Oskan and Phil Fagan for the right to battle in tonight's final. And ladies and gentlemen, for only the second time in tonight's tournament, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your winner and transferring through to tonight's K1 King of Kings from the blue corner, the destroyer. Well, Phil Fagan, what can you say? Although uh, Oskan has got the crowd support, nevertheless, you take it down to the scorecards and you have to give that fight to Fagan. He just did the, he just did the damage, did it technically correct, but nevertheless, a standing ovation for Gurkhan Oskan and what a mammoth feat to come up from super middle.